Welcome guys, in this video I'm going to show you the fastest and easiest way to reverse a linked list. So I'm going to start with the iterative approach and explain how it works and then we're going to solve it again recursively. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So right here we have our Java project, it has two classes. One is list node, which has the definition of our list node. It takes an integer value and an X pointer. Right here we have our solution class. And down here inside our main method, let's start by creating our linked list. So let's say this node, let's call it the result. It's going to be equal to new list node, which takes the value of one. And then the next one, the next node, we can create it right here, new list node. It's going to take the value of two. And then the next node, let's create it right here, node, which takes the value of three. And I think that's enough for our example. Let's go down here and and start creating our reverse method so let's say static it's going to return a list node let's call it reverse it's going to take a list node let's call it head and then first of all we need to create a new head that is equal to null and the new head is the head of our reverse list so I can demonstrate it down here. Let's say this is our head, which has the values of one and two and three. And finally null. And our new head is has only null. Now I'm going to create a loop and check if the head is not equal to null. So to run through with all the nodes in our original list. So if we're simply going to take this first node and start it in the new head, and then take the second one, start in the new head, and then finally take the last one and start in the new head until we finish our original node. So let's create a new variable, let's call it next, which store the head dot next. So we're simply storing all these elements in this next variable. And then we need to update this head to be pointing to the new head. So let's say head next is equal to new head. So that means we're taking this head. Now it's pointing to this new head. And after that, this is our new head. We need to update it to be equal to this one. So we can say new head is equal to head and this head needs to be equal to the next which is the number two so head is equal to next and we're going to do the loop again and take the number two so this is will be our next these values will be our next and then take this two and make it points to the new head and now the new head is equal to the head which is two and the head is equal to the next, which is 3. Then do the same again. This is, will be our next. And then take the head, make it points to the new head. And then the new head will be equal to head, and head will be equal to null. Now our loop finishes, and let's exit and return our new head. So that's it for our reverse method. Let's go back here and let's create a new node. Let's call it result and it's going to be, let's call our reverse method and give it our original list. So this node should have the reversed order of our list. And to make sure, let's print it down here and say why result is not equal to null. And then print the result value. And after that, update the result. So let's run our program to make sure nothing is wrong. You can see here it prints 3, 2, 1, which is exactly the opposite of 1, 2, and 3. So I'm going to delete this and start coding the recursive approach. You can take a screenshot uh, if you want to. Now let's start by creating our rec uh, recursive solution. Static. It's going to return this node. Let's call it reverse the same. It's going to be the simple strategy, but 
different uh, coding. Let's say node. It's going to take the head and another node. It's going to be our new head. First of all, we have to check if our head is equal to null, which means we finish. We're going to return our new head. And then let's create our next variable. After that, we need to update the head to be equal to the new head. And after that, we need to call this function again recursively. So let's return the output of it and call it recursively right here. And now we need to give it the head and the new head. So the new head should be equal to the head. Okay, so this should be our head and this is our new head. So the new head should be equal to our head okay we can say right here this is our head and this the head of the next recursive call should be equal to the next so right here let's say next i hope that makes sense and Uh, that's it for our recursive uh, solution to reverse our linked list. And let's call it right here. We're going to give it the same list, but with a different, with, we're going to give it the new head, which is null. We can run again to check if it's correct. We can see it's exactly the same, three, two, one. So that's it for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and catch me on the next one.